Sure, we make uh, miniature motion control devices such as small servo drives, stepper drives, and even piezo motor drives. All bussable, so you can uh, put them on the same network and run up to 16 devices at the same time on the network, each individually addressable. Allows people to take and, and build their me mechanism and not worry about the motion control. And at the last minute, they can come in, put on the motion control devices right at the motors, just wire up four wires, very simple, and uh, be moving their motors in no time flat. This is one of my favorites here. This is the based on the claims of our uh, friendly competition who claim to have the world's smallest DC servo controller drive in the world. This is about half that size, so I think we can claim that now. And basically what this is, is it's got the, the motion control electronics plus the, uh, the logic on board to do the PID servo loop, which is uh, doing our, what we call, this is our Mickey motion here. Mm -hmm. And so with the, the motor, with the encoder for feedback, then the, the motor, the processor always knows where the motor is and where it's supposed to go. So if you disturb the load, it always goes back to where it's supposed to be. It also has the, the intelligent boards have uh, memory on board so it can run self-contained programs as well as being computer controlled. They also have analog inputs to allow people to measure voltages and, and whatnot to uh, let them apply these things to a wide variety of uh, applications. This here is uh, actually a piezo motor drive. We don't make the piezo motor. Another company makes this actual motor, but uh, here again it's a servo. It's got the encoder strip here that tells the processor again where the, uh, the load is located and it provides all of the, uh, the drive signals to this motor to actually position the load where it's supposed to be. And this is one of our larger stepper drives here. Uh, the demo of this case is showing how you can use electronic gearing. It's got a, an encoder wheel here that it's reading in one channel and then it's providing the drive signals to the motor to spin the motor in the way it's supposed to be. And then one of my other favorite demos is our monkey motion demo here. And this is one of our stepper drives with encoder feedback. And this has, like I say, all the boards have analog inputs on them. So this is using one of the analog inputs to use this sensor here that actually shines an infrared beam out. And then when it reflects off the tube, it detects that, stops the, uh, the motion for a moment and uses one of the undedicated DC outputs to light up the LED to show that it found the test tube. This also has, like I say, encoder feedback, so with the encoder, you can tell where the load is. So if the load is disturbed, the, the controller will put the load right back where it's supposed to be. Uh, the thing that I find exciting is watching the wide variety of products that people are inventing I and mean, people are making the future. And uh, our products enable that future to go because they, they can you can worry about the higher level things the robot's supposed to do and not worry about actually moving that one little motor. They can think about uh, the big picture. Oh gosh, I've been, I've started in the medical device industry 20 some odd years ago designing uh, servo and stepper drives for uh, robotic systems to do sample preparation. Thank you very much. Thank you.